this is the one I'm going to pick. I had loads of these little little bottles from my mum and I thought I'd use them all up. But I've just found this one in the bottom of my bag. And this one will go quick, won't it? So I'll get to use another one soon. She's just having a little sniff. There's a dog who lives here. I'm just taking... Uh, yuck! Just taking Lillian on a walk before me and Lizzie go. Oh, she's going to the toilet again. All sorted out. Yes, before I go out, I'm taking Lillian for a nice walk so that I know that she'll have a rest whilst I'm gone. We didn't go running. James was sore and I woke up at half past four and couldn't get back to sleep again. As always tomorrow, I've got to drop my um, Avon book round at my Avon lady's house. I'm late. And I've been told off. Come on, Lillian. Good morning, Pam. Have you got your tongue out? She normally has. I don't think she has today, though. What are you up to? Minding your own business, aren't you? Like you normally do. Patsy, I'm going on a bus ride. Look after your sister, won't you, whilst I'm gone? Do you know which one's Patsy and which one's lovely? We've dropped off the parcels. And now... We're on the bus, aren't we, Liz? Yes, we are. I don't know what we're going to find. Where are we going? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Look at this, everyone. <laughs> Me and Lizzie have come to Swatham today. It's a town about half an hour from where we live, and I've not been before. Well, I have. I've stopped by, but not... Um, I've stopped for a sandwich. When I was doing my nursing job. But we're just having a mooch around the shops. We've found some good stuff so far. I'll show you when I get back what we've got. Me and Lizzie have bought some fudge. It's very nice. And um, I've just bought a pink toaster. Which I wasn't expecting to get. But um, our toaster at home keeps blowing the electric. So we needed a new one. It's lovely. I'm ever so pleased with it. Look at this lovely shop. Look at him. It's closed. Such a shame. Look at him over there. Oh, Lizzie, I like him. Not as much as I like that toaster I've just got. <laughs> Lizzie's got a bug in her bag. <laughs> We've stopped for dinner. I'm having a jack of potato. Lucy's having a cheese thing. Yeah. And we're having a nice pot of tea. I've got a jack of potato. And Lucy's got the nicest cheese and ham roll. Well, it's actually a ciabatta, isn't it? That we've ever seen. Hello, I'm back. Sorry about the dressing gown, but I'm cold. I've been sat in the garden. I was expecting to sit out there for about half an hour but I ended up reading nearly a hundred pages of my book which was very very nice but I got a bit chilly so I put my dressing gown on got a hot water bottle and got a blanket oh it was lovely so I'm going to show you my uh, stuff that I've got today right so there were a lot of charity shops and I bought myself two cardigans One's this navy blue one. It's a lacy navy blue one. I wear this a lot. This is the sort of thing that I... I just love navy blue. It's just a lacy navy blue cardigan. And then I've got a lacy pale blue cardigan as well. I love that. I will be putting them in the washing machine. And then me and Lizzie went in a little shop which sold all sorts of things and they had some hand cream. We put it on and it's not so lovely so I bought some 
and we've got especially Lizzie at the minute she's got hands like an alligator um, butterfly garden I've never heard of that brand before rhubarb and raspberry hand cream it smells lovely so we've got some of that is this all I bought my toaster I was walking past a shop and oh, oh, oh hang on a minute anyway I was walking past a shop and I saw this toaster in the window and I just thought oh that's lovely and our toaster has been every time someone uses it all the sockets goes off and it is that so I thought well I need a new toaster and I got it and they only have one left which was the one in display on display and he said oh we've, we've sold loads of these we took a bit of a risk getting these in but everybody loves them he tried to get me to get the kettle as well but I don't need a new kettle cool didn't Lizzie didn't he make a job of putting it back in the box yeah. oh and putting the sellotape on the box as well but look it's a pink toaster it's very nice and I said, it, I bought it from an independent shop and I said, isn't it lovely? I said to Lizzie, oh, I'm not going to look up how much that would cost me if I bought it off of the internet. But I couldn't resist. And on the way home on the bus, I looked it up and I got it for a better price than I could have got it on the internet. So that's brilliant. Isn't it lovely? It's a Breville oblique lilac but I think it's more pink than lilac it's lovely that could be my uh, thumbnail but no one will watch it will they yeah so I just can't wait to have a bit of toast now yes I'm really pleased with that it was a shame that teddy bear shop wasn't open that I'd come across. We'll have to go another day, Lizzie, on a Wednesday or a Thursday or a Friday, because those are the days when that is open, but we weren't to know. And we needed to get out of the house. Yeah, this is lovely, this is. Rhubarb and raspberry. Oh, I've done what I did in the shop. I've put too much on again. Yeah, so we've had a lovely day. It was definitely worth going, and I'd go there again. I liked our food. That was nice as well. Ian's just got in the box. I'll tell you what, Ian, you can have the box. He loves a box. Mm, lovely. What I did find about this, obviously I'm not getting paid to advertise Butterfly Garden rhubarb and raspberry hand cream it sunk in straight away even though I did put a lot on and it has done again um so it's good for knitting and that sort of stuff hang on there's something else if you watched my video that I put up when was that on Saturday you will have seen that I made a cardigan for Lizzie's doll who is called George He's now got his buttons on. Bring him over here, Lizzie, so I can show everybody his buttons. Well, there was a craft shop, and I really enjoyed making this cardigan for George. Here he is, look, he's got his buttons on now. So, when we went in the wool shop, I said, let's pick another one so I can make him another one. And this is the one that we picked. anti pelling DK Signet Pure Baby Prints. I love those colours. So that will be interesting, won't it, to see how that knits up with the with the lovely wavy pattern. In modelling, you've got some trousers on now, haven't you? Thank goodness. Very nice. Right, I'm going to get on with the ironing. So I've got a lot to do. Total pip. See you later. I mentioned yesterday that I'm addicted to these. Horlicks flavours 
and someone said to me, what is Horlicks? Uh, I don't really know what, what the hell it is. It's, they call it a malt drink. It's creamy, malty, chocolate taste. So this is a chocolate flavoured one, but the normal one is just, I don't know how you'd describe it. It's sort of like a creamy, uh, bedtime drink malt what is what is that anyway so there's normally a chocolate one and the normal one i don't know what they call it i might have some in my cupboard and then these are the new ones limited edition so i've been through two jars of this one so this is my third this is my second one of this apple pie one and my second cherry bakewell and I need to get some more because that's that's nearly empty. But they're lovely. But it says you've got to put four spoonfuls in. Four to five, yeah. I'd recommend four heaped spoonfuls. Don't put flat ones in because it will be weak. Yeah, they're lovely. This one is my favourite. But you know I like cherry stuff. And I buy this from Heron Foods. I don't know if you've got one of those near you. We've only just got one in our town, but uh, these are very nice and I'd recommend them. Well, look what I've just found in the back of the cupboard. Yes, original Horlicks. You add milk to this one, but you add water to the one that I've been having. What's it say? It's made with malted wheat and barley, enriched with vitamins and minerals. First developed by um, um, Horlicks has supported explorers on the way to both poles, nourished soldiers through two wars and fortified athletes. Relax, unwind, and take a moment with Horlicks at any time of the day. I wouldn't dream of having Horlicks any time apart from bedtime, would you? Wouldn't dream of it. Be like Ovaltine. Don't worry, I'm not going to get started on Ovaltine as well. <laughs> if you want to know what Ovaltine is, look it up. Oh, okay. Oh dear. There you go then, everyone. That's what Horlicks is. I can't believe I just read you the Horlicks jar. <laughs> you could have done that yourself. But you can't get it everywhere, can you? And I was asked. And I didn't know. And I found out quite rough. You can tell I've been on a bus. I don't know what that means, but you can tell I've been out, can't you? Well, what a lovely day I've had. The weather's been nice, the going out was nice, the coming home was nice, and I've just had a fish pie for tea, which was very nice indeed. Um, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow, I think me and Lizzie might be having a day of films, which will mean I'll be having a day of teddy bear club making, which is lovely. Um, I just thought... I would tell you my things that I've had today that have made me happy. I gave Patsy a piece of, well I gave the guinea pigs quite a big piece of carrot when I was doing the, the tea tonight and I was expecting them to stand together and nibble at it but Patsy picked it up and <laughs> carried it into her bedroom that made me happy that was so funny I wish I'd have been filming it she's never done that before it was like she thought well I'm not sharing and took it um oh when I called I couldn't find Ian this morning and when I um I went outside to call him he walked really, really slowly from where I 
where he came from. So he came from over my one of my neighbour's fences. And he walked slowly towards me, smiling like that. And when he got closer, he went Ow. like that, but no meow come out. That was brilliant. I really like that I got to sit outside for quite a while today. Uh, I didn't want to get in the way of the Dungeons and Dragons stuff that was happening. So I sat outside with my book and made myself warm. Oh, it was just lovely. Have you ever seen the advert, the Premier Inn advert, where Lenny Henry is outside in a bed? I imagine that's how he felt in that bed, because I was warm as toast, but still had a, a nice cool breeze on my face. That was very nice. I liked going on the bus today. I had... My main problem with uh, public transport, and I know this is going to sound silly, is I worry that people are going to get ill on the bus. And I was all right until this man said to his wife, I presume, she, he said, oh, <clears throat> i got a bit of a frog in my throat. And she said, oh, maybe you're having an allergic reaction, just as a joke. And then I, I, couldn't, I was obsessed with him for the rest of the journey <laughs> and I just wanted to get off the bus. But it was OK. It wasn't as bad as I would normally be. And on the way back, it was absolutely fine. Although I was worried about one man, <laughs> who I was sat opposite. I didn't like the, the colour of him. So stupid. This is why I had to stop nursing. It used to worry me. Worried me. Right, I think that will do for today. You got a very boring um, chat about Horlicks, didn't you? Oh, I also had a question about James and having a fight. I will get him to answer that tomorrow so that it's answered properly. But James, um, he teaches kickboxing and... Maybe jiu-jitsu? I think. And he's got a fight coming up. But I'll get him to put it into words. And he'll be able to do it better than me, because I don't know the answer. But it's not like he's got like a bare knuckle thing coming up or anything like that. It is a proper organised event that I will not be going to, because I don't like it. I don't like watching him. I've only been to one of his fights and I didn't like it. I did actually get quite drunk, so I wasn't too worried, but... I won't want to go again. Right, I'm off. I can't wait for tomorrow because I've got some bagels and I'm going to put one in that new toaster. Right, I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. Oh, hang on, before I go, I would like to say I really liked reading the comments and I saw that other people have been putting in the comments the things that have made them... Have a nice day too. I like that. That should go on my list of things. That was nice. Oh, the dog's barking. I better go and get her in. Can you hear her? Funny how you recognise your own dog's bark. That's my dog. Hello? Right. I'm going to go and have a Horlicks. You know what one of those is now, don't you? I'm going to have a banana one. Bye-bye. And I don't normally like banana-flavoured things, so it must be nice for me to like it. Goodbye. See you tomorrow.